up. He didn't bring you this far for you to give up. So that's just what I, that's what stays in my mind. And uh, that's what keeps me going, bro. Like, man, I have to, I have to get there. That's why I've been there this uh, past week, just staying focused because I'm tired of losing. And I want to see my family happy. Now, I'm not saying they're not happy, but I, I've been in a place before and I've seen, uh, I've been exposed to different things in this world. And I know it'll make my family say, oh, I didn't know that this, the yeah. world has this uh, to offer. Yo, what's going on, world? It's your boy, Doug, with my co-host, k Ross. What's going down? Y'all, welcome to another edition of the Bigger Dream Podcast. Ross, talk to me, bro. What's up? Oh, man, no much, man. Uh, having a great week, you know. Uh, just focus right now, you mm, know, man. But still right having now. a great week, man. I've uh, been doing well in my fitness journey. Uh, yeah. Worked out every single day. Worked out in the rain yesterday, man. You know what I'm saying? I got to live what I speak on, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's our last podcast, I was talking about just because the elements change, oh, yeah, doesn't yeah. mean the grind don't st uh, stop, you feel me? So, just gotta keep that same energy towards everything in my life, man. That's what I've been on lately, that's what I'm living by, so. Man, you, you been? I'm good, bro, but yesterday, um, you had sent me your story. Um, you said, bro, what did you say about the dogs? I was like, bro, I never thought of it. Like, you were like, the dogs don't come out when it's, um, I guess like when the elements change or something like that. I, I just be in the zone. Bro, you said something <laughs> deep. You were like, ain't nobody. It's like pretty much like ain't nobody out here when the elements change. Not even the dogs oh, no. out here. No. Or something like that you were saying. But, um, nah, man, I've been good too. Like you um, said, I'm focused as well. Um, and I'm really trying to go past my limits. Um, mm -hmm. I told, remember on the podcast last time we were talking. And y'all. We sorry for not dropping one. We know it's been a minute, oh, but yeah. yeah, my bad. A lot of things been going on, but there's no excuses. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. But um, last podcast we said that um, remember we were talking about the gym. We was like, we said I go to do ten reps. Oh yeah, yeah. So I've been trying to go past that within you know my regular exercises that I do in the gym. And bro, when you set a goal to be eleven instead of ten. You can get past oh, that 10 sure. one, but on yeah. the 11 one, that bug get yeah. heavy. So I've just been trying to, um, you know, go past that 10. So I've been doing like 11 reps here and there on different exercises. So, bro, it's really all a mind thing. And as I'm in the gym working out and I'm getting to the 11th mark, I'm like, bro, this is really mind blowing, bro. Like, it's crazy how the mind works and how it can, I guess, trick your body to be like, your body tired. But... <laughs> I don't know, bro. Because you already made up in your mind where you were going to stop it. But how does that make my muscles feel like know. it's heavy? Your mind control everything. Like yesterday, I was just working there, bro. I was just jump roping. At first, I did like two sets of 100. Then I, after all oh. the other sets, I'm like, yeah. okay, I'm tired. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm mean? saying? Then I was doing my, my little drill. I was like, okay, I'm tired. I just try to go till I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like with the lifting board on, I ain't going to lie, I'm stopping at 10. You feel me? I'm dead. I'm like, ah, it's hurting. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> go past it, bro. Yeah, but all my other things, I'm like, man, just keep going till you get tired. Yeah, you know that boy, saying? that boy Muhammad Ali said he don't start counting till he till it start hurting. So See, can, like, that's you think you can that's, do that? That next level, bro. <laughs> that next but, level. He actually competing. I told me I don't really take that much. I really like I said, bro. Like, was I drop this weight again, bro? Like, I'm not. I'm not that guy that's gonna be in the gym, bro, dropping 200 pounds, <laughs> trying to lift 200, 300 pounds, bro. I'm not trying to do that, bro. I'm not competing. I'm not in no nobody game. You feel me? Like I'm not doing that, bro. So what you gonna do then? You bro, just, I'm just gonna be right. You just gonna be. Yeah, right. I'm, bro. If I want to lift 100 pounds, that's all I'm. I don't want to, bro. I'm not trying to do all that. So you yeah. just want to maintain the same way? Yeah, like, yeah. For, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna be that guy there. Ah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> doing all that. Yeah, I'm not doing all that, bro. Bro, I be seeing people in the gym going crazy. But I be liking the motivation that they be putting out. Like, they be in there talking to their... But they be, like, oh, yeah. screaming it out. I say, nah, don't scream. Yeah. I don't do all that. Yeah, nah, me Like, I be like, bro, like... Come, but I I be like, oh, man, that's what's up, bro. Like, you, you motivate. Like, they be... And I be talking to the weight as well sometimes. Do you talk to the weight? Like... <laughs> I talk to myself. I would talk to the weight. I'm like, Rose, you ain't tired. Keep going. Okay, you feel me? Yeah, keep going, like bro. Too, yeah. You ain't tired. Yeah, I talk to the way, but some of them guys in the gym ain't big swole. You know what I'm talking about? I'm like, bro, you need to calm down. <laughs> I don't know, buddy, man. You know what I'm saying? He be yeah. talking to his partner. One more. One more. Like, chill, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? But hey, 
Yeah. Bro, you crazy, man. One more thing before we bring out what we're going to talk about today. Um, during a prayer that you did before the podcast, you were talking about the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Is it still a pandemic, bro? Yeah, it's still a pandemic, man. People just, you know, humans but, are human. But you said you're 98%, though. Like, I, I'm 98%. No mask, you know, I'm vaccinated. You feel me? Okay. You know, anybody hating on people that vaccinated, you know. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, bro. I'm vaccinated, I'm vaccinated. That's you. Your life is on you. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm vaccinated, so uh, I don't depend on the vaccination. I, I had to take the vaccination mm-hmm. uh, due to some people, you know, my family, you know what I'm saying? Because they got a certain line of conditions, uh, health conditions in their life. So, you know, I just made that decision to do that for my family. But other than that, bro, I mean... I'm not eight percent. I told you what that was two percent. You said you said the bathroom. Bathroom, bro. If I'm in a public area mm-hmm. in Walmart, bro, I'm not going to Walmart no mask on. So you, when you say Walmart, are you saying like just different stores or bro, just Walmart? I'm not going to Walmart, Tom Thumb, Cro- okay. okay. Any like where you gotta go buy food from, I'm not going in a mask store. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was just wondering, was it still a pandemic? Cause I ain't heard. I honestly, I haven't heard I nobody say nothing about pandemic in months. To be honest, yeah, it's bro. still a pandemic, folks. We ain't beat this thing yet. We haven't. Yeah. Yeah. How we do it? It's just how we do it. There's no politics here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, I like that. <laughs> but uh, okay, all right, man. So, uh, y'all, man, I'm. I don't know. I'm. I'm excited. You know, to bring on this podcast uh, this week. Uh, was it last week that I said I wasn't in a podcast mood or something like that? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because um, like Ross said, y'all, we just been trying to get a lot of things taken care of within our business and trying to execute at the highest level um, that we can. Um, but if you guys listened to the last podcast, we said that, you know, our next podcast we was going to talk about um, how Ross uh, shot me a message. Um, and he was just like, hey, man, whatever needs to be done, send it my way. Like pretty much he's ready to take over. And um, I feel like it's important to have that mindset when you own your own business, like whatever needs to be done. Hey, I will do it like let's get it done. And it's great that, you know, me and Ross is on the same team and we both have that mindset. And it's like we will not let this business go under float. Like whatever needs to be done, we're going to make it to where this business can remain the same or remain and go to that next level. So. When you sent when you sent that message to me, bro, I was like, okay, bet, let's go, let's go. <laughs> so like, what, what, um, I guess clicked in your head to make you be like, hey, bro, Doug, whatever need to be, send it my way, bro. Like, what click, like, or what happened, you know? The thing about it is, I always had the mindset. You feel me? It's just like I just got to a certain point where I'm just like, I'm fed up with losing. You feel me? Yep. So I just feel like I was just having a long time with God. I was like. If I could do more, I'm going to do more. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever needs to be done. If I'm doing less than one area, I would do more in that area. You feel me? So that's that's my whole take on everything. When I was I was just at a place, I was just talking to God, just let him know, okay, God, I'm gonna just do more then. Whatever needs to be done, just put it on me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Because with me, like I said, I, I'm not the one that's gonna go get the contracts, but once you put me in that room, it's over. You not feel me? Real. Like if if you if you not get me there, real. I don't need no help there, you know what I'm saying? And I know that we all have limitations on our life, you know what I'm saying? But I just feel like, bro, I got to practice in those areas then, mm. you know what I'm saying? But it, it's best that we move in our strength. That's best. But when you don't have, mm-hmm. like, a solid team, like a, a all-round team, we got to, as a S, we all over the place, you feel me? So it's different uh, positions that we have to fill. So I just feel like, man, I, if, whatever position that needs to be filled is, Send it my way, bro. I'm going to do it. I'm going to handle it. Yeah, no question to ask. And that's how I am with the phone calls. Yeah. I'm pissed off now. Like, I, like <laughs> oh, y'all. Oh, man, that mother funny, <laughs> Y'all, Woo! like, when we first started our business, you know, we was trying to, and of course, you're supposed to be respectful and nice. Yeah. And I'm not saying don't be that way, but, like, we was always, we we would call up, you know, a place of business where we're trying to work at um, for our <laughs> business, and the answer that they would give us, you know, they'd be like, they'll try to let us down. And then me and Ross would be like, well, okay, have a good day. <laughs> like trying to be not no, and, real talk, yeah. and bro, like I'm pissed off doing that. You know, yeah. I got to the point now where I'm just, I said, Ross, I ain't even telling him I have a good day no more. Cause yeah. I'm trying to get this. I'm trying to get it. But like with the calls, I'm just like, I'm calling. And I had to talk to myself. I was like, bro, 
you got to leave your feelings out of business, bro. Like, yeah. business is business. We trying to, you know, take our services to, you know, this business. And if they don't want us, okay, cool. Let me get your email or whatever for future references. But I'm not with all that. And then, like, they'll try to give you, like, a runaround and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm I'm not going for that no more, bro. Doug is hanging up on folks. I'm hanging up <laughs> on people now. <laughs> Boy, hey, man. I, 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 heard, I was waiting for me and Doug to say something. I'm like, yeah, go and give him the same rich. You know, <laughs> I look over to the left, fall down already. I'm like, no, nah, bro. Just, <laughs> we just bust that crime, bro. Bro, and I know that was wrong. because it felt good. It it did. I ain't going to lie, bro. But, you know, then I had to think about it, Like, man, I don't want. And I don't even know if that could put, like, a bad rep yeah, on our business. Yeah, yeah. But I had to think about that. I was like, man, Doug, you got to chill, bro. But. Nah, sometimes you ain't got to chill, though. For real? Sometimes they deserve that. I'm know? waiting on you. Hey, no, no, hey man. I'm you, waiting on you to hit. I'm going to hit it one day. I, <laughs> I hit mine in the email, bro. I'm going to start sending uh, mass emails like, hey, you know what, bro? Y'all ain't got to worry about us no more. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah that's how I do mine. But nah, man, Um, honestly, like, you know, in all serious, y'all, you got to have that mindset. Like, I'm finna take over whatever needs yeah. to be done. Give it, give it to me. Like Jordan, you know, if he felt like they, if they were down ten or whatever, he want to take all the shot. Yeah. And man, I'm so like, bro Ross, when you send me that message, like you don't understand what went. Th- like, bro, I was like, let's go because I know you got the mindset. Yeah. But I'm like, all right, you, you, you get to that pit, not pissed off stage, but it's like, I'm done playing games, bro. Yeah. And like we were saying, like we're ready to execute. And I'm, I'm honestly just tired of losing, bro. Like I'm, I'm, I'm with you, bro. I'm like, yeah, I'm fed up, and yeah. I have to be more aggressive with what we want to get done. And shout out to the Secret Success Podcast; they um, had an amazing podcast that changed yeah. our life on being demanding. Mm. Um, and I listened to that mother at least like five or six times. Right, right. And I'm like, I have to be demanding with what I want yeah. because these folks they tell us no, they be lying. Oh, for sure. They be lying. They be lying. Look, we not peeped that they be lying to us, and we're just you know, let go uh-huh. with it. But I've learned to, when somebody tell me no or whatever, like the com- the conversation don't have to end right there. Yeah. Like I still need to get this information. At the end of the day, at your place of business, you supposed to tell me the, um, whatever I'm asking, you supposed to be, be there to help me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So if you tell me no and I'm like, okay, well, how about this and that? You should still be able to give me that information. So um, I just been, I'm tired of losing and I'm being more aggressive with what I want, bro. And I know, cause we got some, we got some things coming here in the future, man. Like we finna turn this thing around, bro. So, nah, bro, hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? We have been walking in that, uh, that being demanding spirit. You feel me? We we been walking on that heavy. You know, I know uh, for sure I was in T-Mobile the other day when I was with my boy GA and Grant, man. Uh, I was just being demanding, bro. I was like, nah, man. Hey, we need that hundred dollars. Uh, month plan, you feel me? I need a discount on the phone. Like I, it was, I mean, I, I wasn't successful. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but cool. I was just practicing on my demanding skills, you know. And it do feel good being demanding, bro. And it, I, like real talk, shout out to each and them, man, because demanding really where is it? Like for real, like people out here in this world do not care. They don't. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like we don't want to care. Fact. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? about some more feelings and things. I'm not saying. Go out here and be ruthless. But if it's something that you really want, you have to be demanding about it, man. And that really helped me and changed my life for real, man. For real. You, uh, I remember you uh, being demanding at Fat Burger, but the lady didn't hear it. Well, what did I say? Man, you had, you had ordered something, and then you was like, yeah, and what about my discount? Or something like, but oh, you had your mask right. on, yeah, so yeah, she yeah. couldn't really hear you. But yeah. you said something about a discount, and I was just like, I just... I felt awkward. I, I still. Oh man, you know I hate that moment. I, I still, I still feel awkward. I feel awkward when I did it. But yeah. you did it, man, and um, yeah. yeah, bro, we need to work on that as well. Yeah. But Good um, day. yeah, man. So um, <clears throat> before, well, no, after you hit me with that um, with that text message regarding mm-hmm. uh, you know, seeing everything your way, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I started to get a little discouraged. Mm-hmm. Um, or oh, it probably was before that. I don't know. It was around that time. Like, I was getting discouraged within my business, bro, because I'm like, I just didn't know what else to do. <laughs> you know, and I'm just being, and I'm, and I'm so thankful to have you as a business partner, because every time I hit you with something, you, you always be like, bro, we're going to get it, bro. It's coming. Our time coming and things yeah. like that. But 
I got this strong mindset, but I was still starting to get discouraged within our business just because I wasn't seeing results. I know. I felt it. You did? Uh-huh. Dang. Well, <laughs> I was still trying to push past it, though, because, I know, I, you know, I know what I'm saying? But I was discouraged. I'm like, man, we, we ain't winning, and I'm seeing... Well, I'm not seeing, but I'm, we reaching out to folks, and yeah. they still giving, they still saying it's been the same thing like for all these years, man. So I was discouraged, and I was like, man, I, I can't wait to get out of this funk. Mm -hmm. And you know, I just kept, you know, doing what I had to do, you know, doing making calls, emails, and things like that. And um, so, to sum it up, I'm not discouraged anymore. Like I'm back, <laughs> I'm, I'm out of that. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, nah, for real, for real. So I'm out of that mode now, but. Yeah. I just want to say thank you, bro, for keep for being mm. there to encourage me and and I don't know how you felt it, but you know just keep doing whatever you was doing, bro. So I was discouraged, yeah. but um, yeah, man, shout out to you, bro. I, I ain't discouraged no more, man. Nah, the thing about it is you gonna have those times. You gonna have that moment in the life. And I actually mm. preached a message about this like two weeks ago <clears throat> uh, to my church community, and uh, you your best in the darkest moments in your life. You your best. Uh, when the storm is there and I was just speaking more about the eagle and have I talked about that on the podcast? Mm. I, I talked to you about that mm. and I was just speaking of uh, coming from Isaiah uh, oh lord Isaiah was it 30 and 41 or Isaiah 40 and 30 and uh, how if you just keep your hope in the Lord he'll renew your strength you know and mm. uh, that hope is very important because you can be discouraged you can be down and out but long as you have hope your strength is being renewed every second, every minute of your life, and every day. You know, and uh, I'm just telling the community that. And then it just goes on to tell you, after your strength is being renewed, you know, you will uh, soar on wings like eagle. Mm. And you have to really look at the eagle. The eagle is the highest flying bird. You feel me? And it soars high. And it's the only bird when a storm comes, it doesn't run. All the other birds, they fly. They go down south, they, they just fly away because they feel the storm coming. Mm. But when the eagle uh, sees the storm, he go towards it. And I said, man, Lord, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, because it knows it gets to fly higher. It's already the highest flying bird. Mm -hmm. But once it sees the storm, it knows that it gets to fly higher. So I put myself, I position myself, I said, oh, Lord, I'm, I feel like I'm flying. But when he allows storm come in our life and not just look at where we had in business as the storm, this is where we get to fly our highs. This is where we get to be our greatest because we get to endure strength, you know. And that's what, remember I also told you like, <laughs> why trials and tribulations, you know, storm, what it produces, it produces endurance, it produces patience, you know what I'm saying? It produces hope and do not be ashamed of hope, you know what I'm saying? Because God bless, you know? And so that's why I would just tell you, just stay strong, you know what I'm saying? And just stay encouraged because this is where we mess up as humans. And I fall short of it all the time. I start, I open up my eyes. Mm. When you open up your eyes and you start seeing and you drop the faith, boy, you like, oh Lord, I don't see it. I, I'm getting, I'm getting denied here. This door is closing, that door closing. You know what I'm saying? Then you gotta close your eyes and just start believing it by faith. You know what I'm saying? We don't walk by sight. We don't walk by sight, we walk by faith. So I'm just saying, God, I don't know what you're doing, but I just believe that you're going to make a way for us. And you just said, <laughs> work, you know what I'm saying? Just add that faith to us. So faith with that work is dead. So that's what we're saying. We just, just continue to work. I don't know what to do. Just continue to work. Keep grinding. Keep waking up every single day and just give it your all. If you don't, if you just got to sit there, just pray, you know what I'm saying? Because I know in our industry is different. You know, it's real different, but, you know, hey, just keep on grinding. That's what I'm just telling you. And I, I have conversations with God all the time. I'm like, Lord, do you want me to give up? Because I don't know how. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's just me. I don't know how to give up. And I just told God, like, Lord, you, you got to come in human form and tell me. Because, you know, I'm not going to listen to the voice in my head, you know, and I'm not going to be disobedient to the Lord. But he just didn't give us the vision for us to give up. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? He didn't bring us this far for us to give up. He didn't place us in rooms for us to give up. Mm. And he didn't place you in rooms for you to give up. He didn't bring you this far for you to give up. So that's just what I, that's what stays in my mind. And uh, that's what keeps me going, bro. Like, man, I have to, I have to get there. And that's why I've been at this uh, past week, just staying focused because I'm tired of losing. And I want to see my family happy. And I'm not saying they're not happy, but I, I've been in a place before and I've seen, uh, 
I've been exposed to different things in this world and I know it'll make my family say, oh, I didn't know that this, the yeah. world has this uh, to offer for yeah. me. You feel me? So I've been there and uh, I just want to be in a place where I can get to a level of stability in my life, you know, so that's what I'm fighting for and we, we close, you know. I told Doug I don't <clears throat> want to talk about it right now, mm. but I know that we close and we finna execute on the highest level and we already executed already, it's yeah. already done. Yeah. Uh, so we just waiting to receive everything, so that's what I'm just waiting. That's where I'm at, man. Bro, you... Okay, so first I want to hit on, I guess, the reason why I was uh, being discouraged. And mm -hmm. I was just listening to, uh, you know, I always listen to different podcasts and they were just talking about, you know, you've heard this before, uh, why most businesses fail and things like that and how people... And I, I came to you a while back about, uh, remember the guy my uh, my mother used to work for? Mm -hmm. um, he was telling me, he was like, man, most people, their first business don't work. But they second, you know, and third. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> bro, just a whole bunch of just thoughts was getting in my head. And I even came to you and I was like, bro, it, other other business owners, no, I said, bro, nobody is working harder than yeah. me and you. Yeah. And I'm like, and then my, it was getting in my head. It was like, man, what if you and Ross went over and did this and that? Y'all probably would kill it within the first month or different things like that. So, bro, just a whole bunch of stuff was just getting in my head. But like you, like you were saying... You were like, bro, you will never give up. Like, God got to come in human. Like, I, that's really, and I was like, and I'm just over here thinking to myself, I'm like, bro, I, I know I can't quit this. Like, I cannot give this up <laughs> yeah. because so much that I have invested right. into the business. But there were thoughts in my head saying, maybe if you and Ross went and did this, y'all kill this within the first month. Yeah, yeah. Just because of our work ethic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, man, I can't do that. I cannot do that at all. So mm -hmm. I just had a whole bunch of just thoughts running through my head because, Man, I'm just tired, bro. I'm I'm just tired of, you know, losing, man. Yeah. But like you said, man, I, I really I strongly feel like we finna execute uh, oh, here, in, here in the upcoming weeks, a month or so, 100%. man. So once again, bro, thank you for that. Oh yeah. Um, because without you bro, without you, um, these storms will be even heavier, bro. <laughs> like these storms will be way heavier. And I don't honestly, bro, I don't know if I probably would be able to do this on my own. <laughs> Man, I, I couldn't do it on my own, bro. If I didn't depend on God, bro, like, he is my strength. Jesus Christ is my strength, man, you know, especially in my weaknesses. That's what he said in his word. So if it wasn't for him, bro, I I wouldn't. I tell him, oh, my God, I couldn't go this hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I feel like I could do so much. But if it wasn't for Jesus, bro, I, I couldn't. I would have been gave up, you know. But my God, he doesn't fail. So, you know what I'm saying? That, that's what makes me just keep going, bro. And he tell me don't give up. You know what I'm saying? And Doug, man, like I said, you a hard worker, bro. I know we all hard workers, man, but it's just not in our blood to give up and we will reach that goal. You know what I'm saying? And did we take away the goal? The goal? No. Okay, I know we talked about should we have goals and habits, you know what I'm saying? So we will uh, reach that mark. Mm. How about that? You know, mm. we'll reach that mark and have a, uh, I guess, we'll have to go. I guess we'll reach the mark, though. Yeah, you know, will. once we get there, you know, we're going to just keep going. I told you, the, the longer that he holds us back, the further we're going to go. And that's and that's another thing, because yeah. you, you say that, and, you know, I understand that 100%, mm -hmm. but once again, me listening to other podcasts, and I'm just hearing entrepreneurs make millions within the first couple months. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, dog, bro. I it it's just cause mm -hmm. bro I honestly I I know I know we're capable of and I know what we're gonna do but I'm just like man like wh what's the hold up you know what I'm saying and that's what yeah. be getting me bro yeah no I wish but it's again the storm is there to teach you yourself you know what I'm saying and this is what we chose this is the route that we chose mm -hmm. we didn't know it was gonna be like that we really <clears throat> you know I felt like we were gonna be fifty and those you remember I told you yeah we don't have to lose uh but I thank God for this journey cause like I said the process is just there. To help you with your first win, you mm -hmm. know. So you got to go through everything that the process uh, go through. You got to go through the L's. You got to go through the low moments, the dark moments. You know, you got low and dark moments. You feel me? Bro. And that's just helping you to get to your first win. So it's just developing you, bro. That's all it is. Okay. They're developing you as a human being, you know, first. You know, so. And this is still new to us. You know, three years, you know what I'm saying? It's not really new to us, but, you know, that's just something new that we have decided to do in our lives and be like, man, we betting on ourselves. I can't lose. And I still feel like we can't lose, you know. We we might have some some losses, 
but we just ain't even been lost, you know, just gave up, throwing the whites out. Nah, we mm-hmm. not doing that, so, yeah. Bro, I, Ross, man, when you do think about it, three years finna be four. Yes, sir. When you, I know you said you wanted to be, you thought the business was gonna be like Floyd, you know, 50 and 0. <laughs> but like, and we, we do have contracts within our business. Oh, for sure. But, four, all, three years in, you be like, dang, we ain't got that one that we, but hold on, we we did fight COVID twenty twenty. That we was did. tough. <clears throat> we did. We that did. was Dang. that was I, not in no one's that. plan. I be forgetting about we this period. thought we was gonna take off and we supposed to took off in twenty twenty. Yeah, but that COVID changed the game, bro. So we had to adapt and still stay strong and be stability that stable. What we are now, you know, that anchor. That's remember I even came to you and be like, bro, I'm glad that it kind of went down like this. Oh you yeah, know, that, that means you both the S's because we have to be strong, you know what I'm saying, mm. for this company. So once we do, re- which we do have our operation, our OM, you know what I'm saying, he is the uh, pilot, but once we bring in the air traffic control and the eye, you mm. feel me, we come together as a team, uh, they gonna take it to the top. You know what I'm saying? Well, we gonna take it to the top. So, so we gonna already have like the we, groundwork. Yeah, we were stable. We, and- we had to endure, man, storms, you know, and I know everybody go, man, I endured this, that, that. Believe them people, because I believe them now. I, I didn't believe them. I'm like, bro, they didn't go through all that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'd be like, man, y'all don't know what I had to go through. So uh, I know what me and Doug had to go through, man. And uh, for entrepreneurs, it's real out here. For real, for real. It's real. It's real when you betting on yourself. Bro. Ooh, man. Betting it's, on yourself is real, bro. Bro, it's real <clears throat> when you betting on yourself and other people are talking about yeah. your process. Oh, man. And... In your head, you like, man, I bet you couldn't last in my shoes. Not even <laughs> one day. Not even a Not day. Not even one day. When that paycheck stopped coming in. Yes, sir. Weekly or bi-weekly. Mm-hmm. How, are you, how are you going to act, bro? I act. Like, man, this, it, it's, it's tough. Come it's do tough. it for one month then. You let me know. You used One month. Bro, you used to buying stuff every yes, weekend. Sir. And every, yes, going, sir. When that stuff stopped, bro. For you real. know what I'm saying? And I ain't trying to discourage, you know, Future yeah. entrepreneurs, yeah. future uh, business owners, but you got to, and I told, what did I tell you the other day, man? I, I swore, I said, man, I'd rather invest in, I said, I'd rather invest in something rather than be spending, I don't know, I said something, but pretty much, you don't remember was what I said? opportunity? I it forgot, was, I it was something. I remember you. Yeah, I should have wrote it down, but for the most part, you're going to have to learn to invest in assets rather than liabilities. Yeah. I don't think I said that okay. exact okay. terminology, <laughs> but um, yeah. you you gonna have to invest in assets rather than liabilities. And before I even started my business, I never got that. Like I I never even heard that language. I probably heard that language, but I was just ignoring it. Yeah. But if you really want to get wealthy, you have to invest in assets. You are gonna learn that just spending your money on things that don't matter that won't bring you money. Man. Really a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, if you just overdoing it. Um, but yeah, man, I'm big on, you know, the assets now, man. And I, I just be thinking about other ways to, and that's why I'm so thankful within our industry, within our business, we have multiple ways to get bread and, oh, for sure. and I don't, do you remember me telling you the other day? And I was just, I was just like, um, uh, man, can we just get together and brainstorm? Yeah. You remember yeah, me telling you? Yeah. Cause I was just like, man, when me and you put our minds together and we just think about stuff, ideas will get to flowing, man. So I was, I'm thankful that we in this industry and we can, Get money in many oh, different yeah. ways, and we've already talked about oh, different yeah. ways. And we went to go see him. <laughs> we went to go see him. Did yeah. we plan to see you, bro? Do you call that plan? Man, to see? I believe so. Like I said, we're gonna go see it, and one day we're gonna go receive it. We is. So, we yeah. is. Man, so man, shout out to that, y'all. Like I said, these past two weeks, uh, it's been on. A lot of stuff has went down. Oh, yeah. Uh, but y'all, we gonna continue to get you guys podcast, man. Um. I hate that I missed the prom- I promise on, you know, doing a podcast every week. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, y'all, stuff happened. And like Ross said, man, no excuses. Sure. Um, but we just been having to take care of business. We trying to take ourselves, like Ross always say, put our mask on so we can help out the people. That's so real. within these past weeks, we've been just trying to grind, 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 get this, get that, so we can come back to you guys and help you guys out in um help you guys within your business, within your personal life and different things like that, man. So, uh, Ross, man, do you have anything else to yeah, before tell we, me? Before we can help you, we got to help ourselves. So that's <clears> where we at, man. And just, we thank you guys for being on the journey with us. You know, just 
uh, hearing us and how we do things, how, how we operate in our everyday lives. And uh, man, let me encourage you something. I, I, I know I changed it up. I'll tell you, quit the job. Listen, if you want to be an entrepreneur, stay on your job if you ain't ready to get, get into this water. You feel me? Stick to your nine to five and grow your business on the side. Mm -hmm. But if you think you strong enough and you say, hey, I'm all in, I'm not saying you can't be all in with your nine to five, but it'd be wise of you, you know, if you stick to your job and you hear everyone say it, stick to your job, continue to fund your business. But if you think you strong enough and you just want to be 100 percent all in, 100 percent just all you betting on yourself, you can do it, but it will be challenging. But just don't give up. And that's where we at. We never giving up, man. So I love you. I know Doug love you. Uh, we praying for you. And, man, thank you for tuning in to the Bigger Dream Podcast, man. Share this <clears> video <throat> and okay. stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. share this video with your family, your woman, uh, your partners, you know, your homegirls, man. We just out here just encouraging the world. We see so much, uh, what we call it, unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you see so much that this mess going on, man. We just want to put positivity in this world, man, because it's enough here for us. Mm. You know, let's, let's let's switch out. Let's switch our minds. You know, let's switch our minds from going to negative. Let's go back positive. So, yes, sir. Uh, before we let uh, the people go, um, y'all shout out to Sunny, <coughs> um, Sunny uh, on TikTok. Um, I always comment on oh, our yeah, video. Sure. Shout out to her, man. Uh, and always saying you guys are underrated. Yeah. You guys are underrated. So, um, and shout out to you. Um, and once again, all our, all our supporters really. Um, I see. I noticed that you know we just get we get a lot of listens on the podcast mm -hmm. platform. But y'all, we do have a YouTube as well. I like looking at them YouTube numbers. Yeah. That, that's what I like looking yeah. at. So you know, if you're in your free time, you know, if you at the crib just chilling, you want to just kick back and you know put us on YouTube. Do it on YouTube, because I like looking at the YouTube stuff, man. We're trying to grow our um, subscriber mark on our, on the actual YouTube platform. So, um, like Ross said, man, share this video. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Um, you know, tell your friends, family members, everybody, because uh, somebody can benefit from this message. We don't always talk about entrepreneurship. Um, we do uh, try to talk to you guys about just pretty much being a better person within your, your daily lives. And... Man, I don't want to just go on a, uh, too much of a rant because we got to get some things taken care of. But um, within this journey, you guys, I have became a better person. Um, and I've just been, I've learned to be more, I've learned to be more respectful. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I respect people in their different professions now and yeah, different things too. that they, even if they're not even like a business owner, like yeah. even at my job, like I'm I'm that person, like I'm going I'm to give you respect way before you get and that's just with anybody i encounter man and uh i know it's it's odd to see somebody young doing that you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying like when i'm showing respect to elders or whatever they be like oh i ain't even but it's like that's just me now and honestly this this entrepreneurship journey have taught me so much beyond that man so i'm just thankful to be on this journey and like ross was saying if you guys thinking about starting a business i encourage you guys to stay on the job as long as you can but if you want to hop off, it's going to be tough and things in your life are going to change and you might not get that support and it's just going to be a whole bunch of stuff. But y'all continue. If you have a dream, have a vision, don't be like me and get discouraged a little bit, but always stay focused on that, on that vision that God gave you and man, you're going to get it, man. So um, y'all, before we get up out of here, y'all, shout out to the sponsor. LWM Love Waste Management, the best valet trash vendor here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. If you stay in the apartments and they got the valet trash amenity and it's not doing a good job, notify the front office about Love Waste Management. Um, their Instagram is Love Waste Management website, lovewastemgmt.com. So, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this podcast. We out of here, y'all, and we'll see y'all next week. All right.